Hey everyone, in today's video, I am going to be showing you how I am prepping for grape harvest. I cannot believe it's almost here. Can you tell I'm excited? Also, I made a new intro for my video, so let me know what you guys think of that. All right, cue the intro. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Bright Sellers. Bright Sellers is this awesome online website that gives you access to so many different kinds of wine. You just fill out this really quick quiz online and they they basically link the different wines that they think that you would enjoy. One thing I'm excited about is this is my third box with them and I am a white wine drinker. I really don't drink any red wine, but I have decided that I need to have a better palate. So I actually reached out to them and specifically asked them to send me some red wine this time so I can try some and try to get more into red wine because I need to be open to everything. So I'm really excited for this box. The other thing I really love about Bright Cellars is they include these educational cards about every single wine you get. So you're not just getting some random bottle, you also get to learn about it. So here are a few of the different wines I got. I got a rosé, a white, and a red, and I also got three other reds that I'm really excited to try. The other really great thing about Bright Cellars is it is delivered directly to your door so you don't have to go out and uh, yeah, it just keeps everything super simple. If you guys are interested in checking out Bright Cellars, they are giving my subscribers 50% off their very first box. I will put a link in my description so you guys can check that out. And again, thank you to Bright Cellars for sponsoring this video. So I am going to create a YouTube series called Field Trips. Hopefully by now I already have one or two of the videos out, but I just wanted to point them out so that way you guys know about them. I'm gonna make a tab on my channel where all those videos will go under field trips. And it's basically gonna be when I go and visit other farms. I kind of wish I could be like Huel Hauser, if any of you guys know who he is. Um, I've actually like said that before, like to myself and to my family, but someone mentioned it in my community tab when I brought up the field trips. Um, he used to do a show I think called California Gold and he'd always be like, that's amazing. And uh, passed away unfortunately, it's been a while, but I'm like, I wish I could be Huel Hauser and just visit farms around California and bring awareness to agriculture. But hey, maybe I can do that through my YouTube channel, you know? So yeah, keep an eye out for the field trips videos. I am currently in the works of making some new ones and reaching out to some companies to hopefully I can get together with. You guys should be so excited. Look what I'm driving today. Everyone's favorite apparently. You all know I love my New Holland. I really do. But I'll give John Deere this. Their seat is a hundred times more comfortable than my New Holland seat. The back is actually where it should be so I can sit up straight and have back support. So I love New Holland, but you guys got to work on a better seat for the vineyard tractors because it kills me. With harvest hopefully only a few days away, I am starting to work on all those little details of things that I need to do to get the field ready before harvest is here. I have a little to-do list and I've got just a few days to get everything done. But the most important thing is I have to trim the vines. So if we go in here in the vineyard, you can see, and I've been talking about this before, I've got a lot of foliage going on. Everything is wild and crazy, which has honestly been good. It's been protecting my grapes and this is what I have wanted. But we are going to machine harvest and basically when we machine harvest, a machine drives over the vines and shakes them and the grapes fall down. Well, because of all this growth, it kind of can cause some issues and be in the way of getting the grapes out. 
so I get to drive this super scary and dangerous machine called a vine trimmer. Here it is. So Matt, one of my main mentors, he brought this for me to drive. He drives John Deere's, so that's why it's on a John Deere tractor. And it has these blades on the side and on the bottom that will kind of trim the vines. And I'll show you guys a before and after, but I probably won't be doing much recording while driving this because you basically feel like you're driving into like a black tunnel. You just need to look like straight down the row because if I look at the sides at all, like you veer just a little bit and there is like no room for error here because there's wires out there and all that and obviously I can really screw something up. So I have to stay really focused while I'm driving but I will show you what it looks like before and after and how it like cleans everything up. So dangerous. Okay so we've got a little before shot here everything's nice and wild and you'll see when I come back through all these sides will be a little trimmed and it'll be trimmed a little bit shorter just just cleaned up a bit Okay, got a few rows done. So I don't know if you guys can see the difference. Well, you can obviously see all the leaves on the ground. So it doesn't quite get everything. You can see there's a few um, pieces that got left behind. But for the most part, you can see how I cut it there. And we also trim the side a little bit. So now hopefully when we go through and shake it, all this stuff will go right into the grape harvester. Look at this guy. This is like one whole thing here. Oh boy, it's big. So I'm pretty excited because I've actually never been on a grape harvester, at least when it's running. I do have a video from the World Ag Expo where I got a tour of the broad New Holland grape harvester. That was pretty awesome. Um, it was an excellent tour of it, but I'm, this is going to be like my first time really experiencing a grape harvester. So I am excited for that. All right, we're back at it. It's Saturday morning. I'm going to try to go finish doing all the vine trimming. If I don't finish today, I'm gonna have to get it finished tomorrow because hopefully we'll be harvesting tomorrow night. Fingers crossed I have my hands full, all the stuff I'm gonna take in the tractor with me. But all right, let's go try to get this done. I just got back to the farm for my lunch and look what's in the equipment yard. A grape harvester. I'm so excited. So one grape harvester is here and one tractor with a gondola is here and there is supposed to be a second harvester coming. So we are going to be using two harvesters. I don't know how many gondolas will be here and we are going to hopefully do it in two nights which is so crazy i also want to take this opportunity to say that i have a video about a brand new grape harvester that i did at the world ag expo so i'm going to link it above so that way if anyone is interested in getting an in-depth description on how a grape harvester works that's going to be the perfect video because i have a feeling it's not going to happen during harvest Here we go for all the John Deere lovers. Matt drives John Deere's Mana Ranch, the the ones that have been helping me with everything. So we've got our two tractors and our two gondolas. If you have no idea what a gondola is, but you know anything about grain farming, basically think of that as the grain cart. 
We call our grand car a bank out wagon. I don't really know what other names are for it. But anyway, so the grape harvester will dump into the side of that and in, and then that will go up and dump into the trucks for the grapes. So there we go. Hopefully I'll be able to get it all on camera. <laughs> ah, it's going to be a whirlwind. So, we so even though that sign probably doesn't mean anything to you guys, it means a lot to me. G3 trucking is Gallo trucking. And every year I see that sign in every driveway that is uh, harvesting grapes for Gallo. And it is my year guys. So that sign is in my driveway now. Well, not my driveway, but my parents. <laughs> my parents driveway, which is where my vineyard is. And I am stoked. It's becoming all so real. Okay, I just finished doing all the trimming, so it's done. I'm just gonna knock some leaves off this guy and I'll do a full blow off later on. But everything is trimmed and tomorrow is the day, guys. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's here. I'm just so excited. I'm kind of freaking out. Like, it was starting to feel real, but now that those harvesters are like, in the yard it's just like so real oh i can't wait to show you guys okay remember to hit that thumbs up button and that subscribe button i appreciate it so much and i will catch you guys at harvest and then there were two